And we're back! What's up, everyone? This is Dynamite Man ZGI here, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound! In the last episode, we heard a meteor had crashed just uh, a little ways away from Ness and Porky's house, so we decided to investigate. And um, Porky had commissioned us to help him find his brother, Pinky. And we met Buzz Buzz, who said that he's going to protect us. So I guess we can uh, continue on that way and um, hope that he protects us from any evil that might, um, you know, befall upon us. And right here, we meet our first boss. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gigas' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect! I'll stomp you hard! Boss time! Against a Starman Jr. I mean, the Starman Jr. <coughs> just listen to that, that funky techno music, and let's attack him. So Buzz Buzz is going to start off by casting a PSI shield uh, Sigma on everyone. That um, basically it'll um, it'll deflect and absorb any um, PSI attack that the Starman Jr. will use against us. And um, then he's going to attack for 100, 100 HP of damage. And Pinky attacks for 1 HP and I attack for 10. Um, I'm going to say this now that this is a joke of a uh, boss fight. There's no way that you can lose. Like, I could just guard and this fight will be over. And a matter of, you know, moments. It uh, usually takes around the same turn to, to uh, defeat him if you attack. I've never not attacked during this, just because I like, I like speed. And he's gone! 102... 102 attack, uh, and Pinky attacked more more often than he usually does too, which probably contributed to the death, an early death of the Starman. Um, yeah, that's a non-eventful sort of. Animals are also becoming more violent due to Gigas's influence over the evil evil in their minds. It is the truth. So listen. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, um, yeah, uneventful sort of fight with the Starman there. Usually, um, Pinky will often. Um, defeat him, which is kind of funny if you ever get that on recording. I've never been able to have that happen at all, so yeah, go figure. So let's, um, I'm going to cut away here for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to check on something real quick. So, um, let's take Porky and Pinky home now. Yikes! Porky, your mom is creepy looking. Where in the Sam Hill have you boys been? A suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids trouble you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Uh-oh. Run, boys. Run. There they go upstairs. Yikes. <laughs> By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. Wow, this guy is not nice. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. That is a bullcrap. Um, nice guys finish last. I'm pretty sure your your husband is the nicest man on the planet. Uh, Buzz Buzz, what are you doing? Buzz Buzz. A dung beetle! Smash his guts out! Uh, you typically don't want to smash a dung beetle because there's a reason why they're called dung beetles. Buzz Buzz! Buzz Buzz! Speak to me! <gasps> I was much weaker than I thought. You were taken out by the fat lady. I guess she really did sing this time. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points at, that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. 
One of them is near one act. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Ah, uh, yeah, I understand that. Oh, thank you for thinking I'm really smart. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay, he's going to give us the sound stone. You can record the melodies of the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. And it's an awesome item. Actually, it's not that great. It actually just takes up inventory space. Um, you can, For comedic effect, you can uh, hear his story one more time. He doesn't die until you say no! It's already dawn outside. And he's fading fast. And he gives you the sound stone. And... He fades away from existence. Bye, Buzz Buzz. You were an overpowered enemy that came too early in the game, so the creators of the game had to kill you off early. And if you come up here, you can talk to Porky. He says, my dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Wow. And Pork Pinky says, I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. <laughs> it's just terrible. And before anyone asks, I am pressing... um. Uh, left on the control the controller to so I don't have to get into the menu every time I have to talk to someone or check something so that's why you're not seeing that menu come up that's a little bit of a shortcut that you can use and the sun is up okay so I'm gonna head home real quick but before I do Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Funny Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And he spins off. Just like he kind of just appeared there. And I don't know if I could ever do that voice again. That's actually kind of funny. So. Actually. If you listen to this song, it's a really slow remix of a very famous song in Mother One. <sighs> so relaxing. <laughs> oh, King, you're not a stubborn mutt. Okay, so, um, your mother actually, anytime you want in the game, you can always come back here, no matter how far you've gone, and you can eat some steak and get some rest, and you'll be fully healed by the time you head out. Now, the reason why I did this was because if you had, actually, where, um, well, I guess you, you could trigger it later. Um, she's not down here. Tracy actually has something to tell you, too. But, um, I'm not gonna go and look for her, because, yeah. I mean, we could trigger it any old time. Any any old time during the adventure. Okay, this is a coil snake. Coil snakes aren't that big of a threat. I mean, they bite for three damage. But we've already got, like, 45 max HP, so, um, it's not too bad. And, you know, two, two direct hits with the bat is going to take them out pretty easily. They only give one experience point, so I would try to avoid them as much as possible. They ain't worth my time. Okay, so before um, we go and get into the meat and potatoes of this game, there's one thing that I want to show off here, and that's if you come into the library and you talk to this lady, she says, kids can borrow only maps from this library. Do you want to borrow one? So she gives us the map, and if you press X, you can see um, the town. There's one at, there's a shop very close by, there's food. But if you look to the left there, um, I'm going to zoom in here right now. If you look to the left, at, um, just slightly behind the library, there's like a little area that you can kind of go into. So um, that's actually where we're going to head into next. So... Um, yeah, okay, so we can't get in through here. Now, see if I remember where this is now. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, I found it. It's right here. So you head back here and up. There's a treehouse here. And if you talk to this guy, he'll give you his Mr. Baseball cap. 
And, uh, you know, Ness has wanted it for a long time, so the story goes. Now, if you go into your uh, equips and um, go into other, you can equip the Mr. Baseball cap, and it brings up your defense by uh, up to 9, and your offense up to 10, I do believe. So that's that's pretty nice. You talk to this guy. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with, with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. Wow. You've grown since I last saw you. I'm beginning to you're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Um, sure, that's flattering and everything, but I don't swing that way. Thanks, though. Oh! <laughs> that runaway dog kinda scared me. <laughs> Alright, so now we only receive one damage from uh the runaway dogs. Because of the baseball, uh, Mr. Baseball Cap. And they go down pretty fast. So, um, so now that I've showed off the story of Buzz Buzz and everything, and I got the, uh, the soundstone and everything, um, I think it's a good idea if you go around town looking for, um, runaway dogs and, um, spiteful crows to beat up, and just level up to, oh, I'd say about level five. Because you're going to need to do that. That's It's a pretty good idea if you do that. Okay, we're now um, level 4, which is pretty nice. Gus went up by 2. Luck Bite went up by 1. Oh, max HP went up by 3. Max PP went up by 2. And we learned Hypnosis Alpha already. All right. All right, that's pretty cool. So it's nice to have that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go around and... Um, Probably level up off screen to like about level five or level six or something like that, and then when I resume the next episode, I'll um I'll have trained up and rested up and everything by then. So I'm gonna end things off here. So I guess if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, check out this magic butterfly that heals your PP. I'll explain more on that in the next episode. Uh, share this video if you want. Uh, do whatever the hell you want. This has been Denwood Man ZGI. Now see you guys in the next one. Take care, y'all.